Exactly. Okay, well now let's talk about the situation where you have an existing pump that uh, you're happy with in your boat, but all of a sudden it stops working. I guarantee you that people come into our stores all the time and the pump is fine, but it's the electrical connection that's failed. What are some of the things that people can do to make the electrical circuits work better? Remember, this is an electrical connection that is exposed to a moist environment, and in many cases, submerged in water. Okay. So that connection has to be watertight. So that's the place where you might use something like these Ancor waterproof butt splices, right? Uh, exactly. In fact, here's an example of one of those butt splices, where you would have the lead from the pump itself, and then on the other side, the wire going to the circuit panel, crimp it, heat it, and the heating process constricts this against the wire and then there is adhesive product inside that'll bind all of the metal to connectivity. Wow, that's fantastic. Now, how hot do you have to get those? What would you use to actually make that shrinkage happen? Many people just use a pocket lighter, but I prefer using a heat shrink gun, which is flameless. So it's hot enough to melt this, but won't burn the wire or the connector. Okay, so the key there is to get it hot enough to shrink the shrink tubing and to get the adhesive to get gooey and stick to the wire insulation, but not so hot that you actually melt the plastic. Exactly. John, a lot of customers come into our stores and they've got something like a Rule 1100 and they want to replace it with exactly the same pump. Is that a very difficult thing to do? Not at all. In fact, here, you be the boat. Here's okay. an 1100. Okay. First, what the consumer would do is all you need to do is remove the discharge hose. Okay. Step one. Second is remove the pump from the base. It's that simple. You just unsnap it. Unsnap it. And this stays on the boat. Okay, and so you don't have to drill any new holes. You just leave this in place. Exactly. In this scenario, you're using the same pump. All you're doing is keeping that in place. Okay. So, set the pump down. Now imagine this is connected to the lead wire going to your circuit panel. You need to snip both sides of this, strip it, apply the heat shrink butt connector to both ends crimp it, heat it to compress the connection, attach the pump back to the base, and then connect your hose, okay. and test the operation. Wow, that's really simple. So there, there are eight steps. You d remove the hose, then you remove the pump from the base, then you cut the wires, you strip them, you put in the new butt splice, and you crimp that and you heat that up, then you snap it back into the base, right? You reconnect the hose and you just test the operation. Perfect. Wow, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think almost anyone can do that and it doesn't really require that many tools. It requires something to remove a hose clamp and to do the crimping, but otherwise it's very, very straightforward.